here we are in the front of um, Earthquake Park in Anchorage, Alaska. It says in 1964, Anchorage and South Central Alaska were permanently changed by one of the largest earthquakes to shake North America. This interpretive trail and exhibit commemorate that earthquake. And it takes 15 minutes, it says, to go down. And of course, right now, this is uh, the week of spring break. And as you can see, there's still snow, plenty of snow on the ground as we walk down through the trail. As you can see, the trail winds around through the trees for a ways. It's really pretty out here. It's right at the edge of town, uh, right on the bay. There are benches along the way where you can sit and rest if you need to. and uh, But it's only a 15-minute walk, but you know how that is for some people. Pass someone on skis and somebody with their dog, so it's a good place to bring your animals I guess and the family and come on out um, as you can see we're getting down here to the area where there's a, some kind of monument and we'll get to that in a minute and you can see the bay okay go ahead Turnigan Height Slide. So you're standing on the edge of the Turnigan Height Slide, the largest and most destructive landslide in Anchorage. 90 seconds into Good Friday earthquake, an 8,000 foot strip of bluff, 1,200 feet wide, began cracking apart into large blocks which slid toward Cook Inlet. With a savage and grinding roll, the slide transported some homes 500 feet seaward and broke apart or crushed other homes. Residents rushed outside their homes only to be thrown to the ground as blocks pulled apart and heaved around them. Others were trapped in their homes. The slide movement continued for 90 seconds after the earthquake stopped, uh, earthquake stopped shaking Anchorage. Over 12 million cubic yards of sand, clay, and gravel slid off towards the inlet. 75 homes were destroyed and four people perished. Four? Wow, that's amazing. Only four people died in that. For uh, 8,000 feet of uh, bluff just to fall off. Wow. And I guess, is that Cook's uh, inlet there? That's about the tsunami warnings and stuff. Oh, that caused the tsunamis. Well, is this but, the is this the Cook Inlet that yeah, that I'm filming right now? Inlet. Cook Inlet. Wow, and it it's, looks like it has a lot of ice on it right now. But as you can see, there is a drop off, definitely. Sure is. Okay, it says uh, the tsunami more devastating than the Good Friday earthquake itself. The seismic sea waves are tsunami that followed caused a major loss of life and property in Alaska. So after the earthquake itself in 1964, you had the tsunami that followed and it went all the way to Honolulu. Why? This is a nice little park area, though, that they've made for people to come. Look at the pictures over here. It said that there were 55 aftershocks measuring uh, some over 5.0 on the Richter scale. Wow. Which kept the uh, Anchorage residents on edge. Well, and we felt one of those the other day, so we know what those 5.2s feel like anyway. This is the view from uh, Earthquake Park, looking out at Cook Inlet. 